being such a Karen, just buy me some beer, man. He just sniffed it. Just look at you, man. You're just a kid. What the hell are you thinking? What are you doing, man? Hey, excuse me, sir. Where's my beer? He just took my money. Hey Warriors, Weapon X here. Before we get into today's episode, I'd like to quickly tell you about Fiddlepiddle.com, a marketplace for toys. Now Warriors, you probably have some old toys just laying around. Why not sell your old or new toys on Fiddlepiddle.com? It's free to join, it costs absolutely nothing to sell your toys, and you get paid immediately. That's better than Amazon and eBay. Check out Fiddlepiddle.com after today's episode and start selling your toys now. Okay Warriors, on with the show. Oh man. We have to get up early Sunday morning because someone scheduled us so early today. I got stuff to do today, man. Let's get us a bunch of likes for doing this experiment early on a Sunday morning, having to wake up. So, so tired. I didn't sleep till four. When it comes to buying kids alcohol, us warriors have no tolerance. So today, we put adults to the test. Excuse me? I'll give you $100. Just buy me some beer, man. To see, would they buy children alcohol? We're gonna be miking him up right now. Let's see, he'd be crazy enough to buy his little kid beer. We don't get arrested. Great. You ever done this before? All the time. Really? Yeah. You shouldn't be drinking first of all at your age. <laughs> I already explained you what to do. Yeah. You can chill right here. It's kind of like right here with your arms crossed. Uh huh. Hi, man. <laughs> Today we are testing Jen's boyfriend. I've been dating EC for six months now and I want to have kids with him but before that I want to see if he a good father or not. I really hope he passes. I can't wait to have a kid like this. Why? A white kid? <laughs> <laughs> you excited today? Yeah. So, you know, a big lotto is going on right now. And so Jen told AC specifically to buy a winning lotto ticket from here. But what AC doesn't know is that we have our hidden cameras set up. That's him? Yeah, that is him. Let Landon know that AC's walking up. Okay. Excuse me, sir. He's stopping um, him. Excuse me. Can you come here for a second? I need, really need to talk to you for a second. Sure. What's up, kid? I forgot my ID at home. Is it okay if you buy me some beer, please? You want to buy you some beer? How old are you? Close enough to 21. He's asking his age. That's pretty good. How close enough are you talking about? You're being such a Karen, just buy me some beer, man. Let's see. What's in it for me? Look, I'll give you $100 if you keep the change. It looks like he's considering it a bit. Why are you considering? He's looking at the money. He just sniffed it. Is this a guy who really likes money that much? Yeah. He likes money more than honey? Okay. So okay, so I buy you beer. I keep the rest, right? Yes. Mine? Yeah. Okay. What type of beer are you looking for? Or does it matter? Doesn't matter, just anything that get me cranked up. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess I could do that. Are you guys having uh, money trouble or <sighs> no, I don't think so. I think he might give it back. Okay, fine, man. Just just hang tight, okay? Alright. He's walking in the liquor store. No way. He belongs in jail. I have a younger brother. He came home drunk. I asked him what happened. He said, you should know. So I've been always suspicious. He's really buying. I'm not sure. He just went in the store. I'd like to have to go record him. So why don't we both go outside right now? We'll wait close by so we can confront him when he comes out with the beer. We don't want him actually handing the beer to this kid. So you chill right over here. I'm going to go in and record him real quick, okay? He's in there. He's actually buying the liquor. You still may not hand it to him. We gotta see what happens. Okay, he's coming out right there. He's... Just keep it down a little. How much of this? Is good? Cool. Yeah. yeah. He's in. No, not no, no. I'm sorry. I can't believe this. I'm gonna talk to him and see what is he thinking. What's going through his mind? Hey, AC. Hi. I think you should stop handing this liquor to this underage kid first. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You don't? No. Before we watch this confrontation, make sure to hit that like button. Let's try to get this episode 50,000 likes. Why are you standing here with this kid right now, handing him liquor? You're the adult, you FBI or something? If you don't want to answer me, I have someone else that may want to answer to you. Why don't you come out here? What the hell are you thinking? Whoa, 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 okay. Okay. 
Okay. Casey, I have something to tell you. Your girlfriend hired us to see today if you would buy an underage kid liquor. You guys are trying to have a kid together, and this is a type of example you're setting. I'm not gonna do this to our kid. It's somebody's kid still. Yeah. You said he was 21. I never said that. Do I look like 21? We Casey, know everything, okay? You are, don't lie. you are a liar and a piece of sh. Man, why are you putting me to this test? Man, what the is this? I thought because we were good. Because you're untrustable, okay? Can't trust you. I can't. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. 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 This is why I don't want to have kids. Oh, whatever. You can have this, man. This is. I don't even like this. Yeah, can you hold this one a second? Baby, this is over. Whoa, whoa, okay. Baby, baby, hey, hold hey, on. Hey, hey, give her some space, man. Give her some space. You messed up. Why don't you just yeah, go, back it, go back to your vehicle? Why you go back to your vehicle, buddy, before we call the police? Like, okay? We truly hope AC has learned his lesson. He would have made a terrible father. We followed up with Jen a couple days later to see how things are going, and we're glad to know they're now in counseling. And AC is getting the help that he needs. Justice served. Most of the people we tested, you'll be happy to know, refuse to buy the kid alcohol. Can you buy me a six pack of beer? Not at the moment, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. No. Six pack of beer? You yeah. mean root beer? No, real beer. How old are you? Old enough to drink. Oh, man, you're getting in trouble, man. Hi. You passed that, dude. Right, Congrats, sure, dude. Cool. Yeah. Wanna go smoke? Yeah, bye. But these few people did something interesting. Today we're gonna set up my big brother. Can I ask you for a favor, Cookie? I'm looking out for him. He's been in trouble a lot. Just got out of jail. And when we were little kids, we used to get in trouble a lot. I used to watch him go to the liquor store and try to get adults to buy him alcohol. I know he's really trying to change his life and I know how hard it can be. Now that he has a baby, it's really making him focus. So today we're gonna flip the script on him. I really hope he passes this test. You excited to see what happens? Yeah, I don't know. I, I know he could use the money, but he knows better. Can I ask you for a favor? He's coming up. Um, can you buy me a six pack of beer? What? A six pack of beer. <laughs> you wanna buy your six pack of beer? Yeah. Look, I have this hundred dollar bill here. You can keep the change. Looks like you took the money now. Looks like your brother hasn't changed. All right. Sorry, man. Just go back. Dude, I think he's buying him the beer. Wait, you know what? Oh no, look, look. I'm not gonna buy you alcohol. Maybe he's just asking what type of beer he wants. <laughs> I started drinking a little bit older. Nah, <laughs> look, he's lecturing. He's nowhere. You know, I lost my family. I lost my home. That's my bro. You know, I became homeless by the age of 17. You know, this isn't the right choice. Why not? Because look at you, man. You're just a kid. What are you doing, man? You know, trust me. I wish I had my childhood back, but I can't get that back. Put this money in a savings account, man. Giving him investment tips. Okay, hold on. Let me listen to this. He's talking about Roth IRA. It's okay. like a mutual fund. I think that kid's too young to be doing that right now. Roth IRA, you good. gotta start early. Are you yeah. an accountant? Yeah, it's the rule uh, of 72. Okay. You can't compound interest, baby. I had a Let's girlfriend go. that was an accountant. Didn't she buy took it. all my money. He didn't buy overall. Oh, yeah, she said it was for it. taxes. She took like 90% of it. I don't even make that much. Oh, that's not even legal. Let's go congratulate Let's him. Your brother Let's passed. Go. I'm Big D. I'm an American Justice Warriors. And your brother, Oscar, actually reached out to us to set you up. <laughs> and you did an amazing job. Hey, I'm proud of you, bro. Right, bro I'm proud of you, man. Like, no problem. He's yeah. getting teary eyed. He's crying, oh, man. I, <laughs> I, 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 I knew you do the right thing, bro. All right, brother, man. Yeah. Stay straight, all right? Mm -hmm. Spiritual gangster, you know. I got this out of recovery stuff. I've been in recovery for some time now. And I did a lot of stuff I wish I, didn't, I wouldn't have done, but I'm trying to walk the straight path with God now. I'm proud of you, kind of. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah, Let's make sure to hit the like button and get this video 50,000 likes. And if you like serving justice, make sure to have all notifications on so you don't miss any of these episodes. Let's continue with the test. Our investigations were going well until we met John. This is where things got very interesting. You can keep the change. While leaving the store, we noticed he doesn't have hey. any liquor in his hand. Excuse me? Sir, where's my beer? You just took my money. Hey, what happened? You just took your money? I got him. Sure? Come here! Okay, everyone, it's fast for a fat guy. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and experiment. Like always, let's get a thumbs up for having Landon do such a good job and putting his life in risk to test these crazy people. Let's try to get this episode 
50,000 likes. Comment and hit that notification bell so hard that your screen breaks. Okay, we're good. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned next week when we test even more people. Hey, check out K9 Confidential, a new animated series starring me and all my buddies. In this episode, Mrs. Kit is missing from our neighborhood, and I'll have to investigate. Hopefully, nothing has happened to her. She has two little kids at home. Join me and all my pals at K9 Confidential on YouTube and Amazon Prime. Would you steal cookies from the cookie jar? Just shut up! Check out these group of kids who were put to the ultimate test. Yanni, put that cookie down! He was just tempted by the girl, just like his daddy, with his secretary. Check out this new video we did on our second channel. How could you do this to me? I'm a little kid! Link in the description and above. Pop quiz, hotshot! Are you ready to make the easiest five bucks you've ever made? Just be the first to comment with the correct answers to the following questions. You have to get all of them right to win. And remember to let us know the best way to get you your money. Won't believe this crazy animation we found on YouTube. It's Robin Williams' Genie versus Will Smith's Genie. Make sure you check it out. The link is in the description. You don't want to miss a sick animation. Big D! Hey, Big D, what are you doing? Man, I don't got time to catch thieves. I got all these bottles to recycle. I don't know what to do. Just use the Recycle Bro app. Bro? Recycle Bro? What's that? Recycle Bro is a new app that makes it easy to find free cans and bottles near you. Wow! It's easy to use. You can find many nearby locations where people are giving away their recyclables for free. Go to RecycleBro.com or search Recycle Bro on Google Play Store and download today. Recycle Bro. Find free cans and bottles near you.